Spitter Swallow Beer Review. I'm Shag Dog. I'm Jammer, and you're not. Right. And we're doing uh, everything but the seeds. That's uh, watermelon cream ale on a can. No information on Beer Advocate, but on Great Beer, it says 5.2%, and that it's a fruit beer. It says right here, a summertime staple. This beer was made for summertime picnic, boat rides, sunsets, and whatever, or whatever vacation experience you can dream up. Light, refreshing, perfect for all your summer food activities. Which this is kind of interesting. We're doing like a summer type beer yeah. during our Balltoberfest type right. celebration. Uh, yeah, nothing on Beer Advocate. Watermelon Cream Ale, they say it's a fruit beer. Pretty much the same thing. Maybe it's a cream ale with fruits in it. Well, it does say on here that is a watermelon cream ale, 5.2 yeah. ABV and uh, 14 IBUs, which is very little bitterness, you know, very little. Right. Well, um, look at the head on that thing, though. I just can't believe it. Uh, I didn't even give it a real hard pour or anything. Yeah, I could give it kind of a medium, but. Uh, I do smell the watermelon. Yeah, yeah. I do smell the water, watermelon, I mean. And uh, yeah, and it's definitely a cloudy beer. Didn't even pour it hard, and and I got this frothy head. Eh, yeah, my it's head's down like to about a finger and a half, but brewed and canned by sixteen twenty three uh, Brewing Company, Elder Eldersburg, Maryland. Yep, I've been to Eldersburg many times. Yes. Yeah, it's very, very cloudy. Uh, not, I mean, I mean, it's not. I can't even see through it. That's no, you how cloudy can't see it is. Through it. It's cloudy, but it yeah. does look like it might be crisp. But yeah. I'm smelling watermelon, almost like a cream. Yeah, uh, uh, almost a little bit of like a, a weed ale smell in there. Huh? Yeah. Uh, like the yeast or something? I don't know. Yeah, it does smell kind of like it might be a little uh, bready. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm ready, ready to drink to it. Drink. You ready, Shag Dog? Yep. Here's to you. Here's to you, my friend. Mm. Mm. Now, this is kind of weird because I'm not getting like a candy watermelon flavor like you would in artificial candy, like bubble right. gum or... Uh, hard candy or taffy or anything like that. Mm. And I'm not getting like a real watermelon flavor where you're drinking the, the juice, you know, and, you know, as you're eating right. watermelon and stuff. But I'm getting a watermelon flavor that's like semi-sweet. Yeah, it, it tastes uh, natural, watermelon yeah. almost. But it's, if it is natural, they can only put so much natural watermelon juice into a product, probably. So it's probably why it's not overwhelming flavor of watermelon. Very uh, light and fleeting. And what I mean by that is that uh, it, it's very light. It's there. It's very light. But then it kind of like quickly disappears. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit lingering of the bready, little bready taste on the front end. But... Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not a big cream ale fan at all, but, you know, some of them are, are quite pleasant. Uh, this leaves a little bit of creaminess. Man, I'm... These beers that I, that, uh, I got from up in Maryland, I don't know if this one came from... Uh, well, it had to come from me, huh? Yeah, it did. But these beers that I've gotten... I don't know if it's the grains that they're using or what, but I'm picking up corn. <laughs> and it's weird because it's a craft beer. You don't expect to have corn or adjunct in there like that. But then again, it is a unusual type beer. You know, it's a fruit type vegetable deal beer yeah. beer. I mean, I'm picking up a mild taste like that. You'd have to think probably these craft beers, more demand equals more, they have to supply more, hence they have to produce more. 
and maybe they are using adjunct. A lot of them. I mean, I, I I'm unless there's one of those uh, hops or, or grains that they use that I, I'm unaware of that gives it like a corny flavor. Yeah. Hey, what guess the, what, Shag Dog? What's that? I got a joke. I got a a, a, a a vegetarian joke for you. Okay. But it's well, a watermelon is a fruit though, ain't it? Or is it a vegetable? You hear me? Okay. It's a little ahead. corny. All right. I'm ready. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that at like Alexa or something. <laughs> hey, where do where do couples argue at when they're at the mall? The feud uh, court. Huh? Feud, feud court. Feud court. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Shag Dog? Uh. It's, I've had worse cream ales, so I, I do like the lingering creaminess. It has a little bit of lingering creaminess feel in the mouth, although some people might not like that. It's got the watermelon. It's kind of uh, light and fleeting. You know, disappears kind of, and it lingers a little here and there. Yeah, and you get a slight bitter, not bad. Kind of complements the the sweet. Yeah, but it's kind of light, refreshing. Medium, kind of a medium mouth feel to me. Yeah. Yeah, medium, yeah, light, medium, moderate, light, you know, not real light or anything. Yeah. Yeah, about medium. And, I mean, it's it's not a bad beer. It's almost, uh, like it says, it's a summertime beer. So, you know, I can see people drinking it. I can see women yeah. actually might like this. But I'm going to give it yeah, almost a a B minus of a swallow. Uh, what it is. Yeah. I was going to go C plus, but it's good enough just at the very cusp of B minus. I'll, I'll have to agree with you on that one. I really will because uh, I was going C plus, but you were right. It, it, it does kind of have enough to bump it up to that B minus. Yeah. It's not like off, but it's not like super good. It's it's a drinkable cream ale. It's very kinda, drinkable. It does have refreshing. Yeah, it does. And the favorite part of cream ales I like is that creamy after you know lingering yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. You know? Although I've had creamier, but especially that. I'm sure uh, you had a lot of cream in your mouth. <laughs> only beer cream and dairy products <laughs> from a teat of a cow. Well, what are you out there sucking on t- <laughs> cow teeth? Well, not from the actual teeth, but, you know, that's where it came from. <laughs> it does say here that the Great American Beer Festival, uh, they won a silver medal. Oh, yeah, yeah. It does say that in the can, right? Silver yeah. medal. That's second place. So I wonder who got first place. They should behind. They should just bow down and say who got the gold. Yeah, but what year? It doesn't say what year either. Right. Uh, maybe they get it every year. Silver. <laughs> uh, so, Shag Dog. I uh, uh, got a lot of lacing there. Cool. A lot, of, uh, see that. a lot of foam coming back up. Yeah. A lot of lacing. I got a little bit. It's not really standing on my glass, but what's really surprising is my glass is very cold, and I didn't have it in the freezer or anything. It's yeah, that's kind of weird. It's that's the had, cold. I had the can of beer in the fridge. Yeah, but it's usually for a un- long time. Unusual that even the top part up here is still cold. Yeah, it's, retains watermelon retains the uh, coolness, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's light, refreshing, and cool. If you are uh, if you're at the store and you come across this one, might not be in there right now. That's summer might beer. Still so have some lingering. Might. Yeah. But if you get a chance, give it a shot. Try it. Tell us what you think. Comment down below. Yeah. Send us a message. Mm. For all our latest and greatest videos, always check our YouTube channel, the Spare Swallow Beer Review. And uh, or mytruereview.com, or you could go to uh, Facebook or and 
why it doesn't have to be a war. Right, Shagdar? Right. And if you want to check out some of our classic videos from the previous years, uh, over a 1, thousand, fourteen hundred videos. On, we're getting uh, there. We're we're uploading them right now, but yeah, the uh, fourteen thousand ain't under yet, but yeah, uh, fourteen hundred. <laughs> Not 14,000. 14, yeah, 14,000 <laughs> 14, beers later, and yeah. my liver is shot. <laughs> and also, we made a new Twitter account, too. So that's the Spitter Swallow Beer Review, if you're a Twitter fan. I'm not a big Twitter fan myself, but I will, I'm not going to post all the videos to Twitter, but new ones, but occasional videos I might but post yeah, over our, there. Uh, the classic ones, a lot of the classic beer reviews that we've done uh, in previous years are on mytruereview.com Facebook page. All right. Uh, check it out. Like us. Follow us. Share. Subscribe on YouTube. Check us out. Mm -hmm. we got a lot of videos. A lot of uh, time and energy spent into this hobby of All ours. Right. And Jammer, it's trivia time. Are you ready? I got one question for you. Proceed, Jack Dog. Who had more soundtrack, or not just soundtrack, songs and movies and TV shows? I didn't count commercials. Just movies and TV shows. And I went to one website, which was, uh, uh, what's the name of the website? Uh, whatsong.com is where I got the info from. Uh which of these two bands had more songs in movies and TV shows? Rat, R A T T, or Motley Crue? Rat. Well, you probably would be correct if it was before Motley Crue's movie. Uh, Rat had a total of seventeen. You know, round and round was in a whole bunch of them. I won't name. I wrote down the movies, but I won't. Write, but a whole bunch of movies or TV shows. What's the most famous movie? Uh, oh God! From Rat was uh, you had uh, Weird Science was Wanted Man, uh, back or not back? Body Talk, Golden Child, Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. uh, round and Round was in multiple movies. Um, the Wrestler. Uh, All right, what, what most famous uh, TV show? TV show. Uh, they're not really famous. The TV shows. Uh, Nine One One. Season one, episode eight. Um, what song? Round and round. Round and round was in like about almost eleven different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted Man was in uh, two. Sound City and Weird Science. Nobody Rides for Free. Lay It Down was in uh, Cobra Kai. Yeah, uh, Lay name, It Down was only supposedly in Cobra Kai. That's it. I can't believe uh, name of uh, uh, the Rat Out of Cellar songs. Uh, you had Round and Round, Wanted Man. One uh, man, of course. I'm insane. She wants money. She wants uh, money. That's the other one I would use. Yeah. Uh, that one was it just I'm insane. Body talk. Lay it down. All were in one or, or just one movie or she one show. Money. She wants money. Motley Crue, believe it or not, was only uh, 20. Or wait. What the hell was it? Uh, there were only six, actually. Motley Crue. Mm -hmm. But the one that put them over the top with over rat was their own movie motley crew dirt they had 14 of their own songs in the movie mm -hmm. so that puts them to 20 so they beat rat 20 to 17 just by their own movie see that that's like a win-win for them because you know it's a movie about us so we're getting paid for our story right then it's a, being that it's a movie about us they have to play our songs mm -hmm. so we're getting paid for the songs too you see yeah, it's a win-win uh, on every front there, and plus yeah. they probably actually was in the movie too, right? Yeah, and they're they're um, they have to have more. That's just according to this one website, whatsong.com. dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, they had looks at kill was in Charlie's Angels, uh, the second movie, oh, full full yeah. throttle. Um, girls, girls, oh, girls was in yeah. One Tree Hill. Remember that TV show, One Tree Hill? Yeah, girls, girls, girls. Uh, Kickstart My Heart was yes, in sir. Hot Tub Time Machine, and Shoot 'Em Up was awesome in Hot Tub Time Machine. You hear me? And then Keep Your Eye on the Money was in a oh, Hot Tub Time Machine, and doc, Dr. Field was in Cobra Kai. But I looked on IMDb, and they'll show you the pictures of the movies. They won't tell you how many 
Oh show films and it my if you go to Motley Crew on it, I counted to one hundred and I saw Rat. Rat had a bunch too and I and it included video games and stuff too. So they both have probably well over a hundred movies, TV shows, and video games, believe it or not. Uh you know what's really impressive is the fact that Rat really only had what how many top ten hits? Uh top ten only one round yeah. around. Uh and yet they have been in every uh, all these movies and TV and video games and stuff like that. Right. Uh, another band that you probably didn't even think about is Guns N' Roses. Yeah, but I think probably only from that first album, mostly, and especially uh, Welcome to the Jungle is probably in a lot. Uh, yeah. Sweet Child of Mine might be in a few. Welcome to the Jungle is probably a, a, a lot, almost probably There's as much around around. around. I got round around in like about just according to that one website, like twelve or something, you know, twelve or fourteen, yeah. Not included commercials like Geico or something like yeah. that. But uh, I can see Guns and Roses being in quite a few movies. Or, Mr. Or Brownstone movies. was probably in a couple, yeah. Uh, My yeah. Michelle, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, uh, even that one, uh, it's in one of the Lethal Weapon movies. Uh, you know the movie. Uh, I tell you what, Knocking on Heaven's movie. Door. Yeah, well, that's a Bob Dylan song, so of course yeah. it's going to be. Yeah, but, but I it was tell you which song Rosa I would version. use by them. What was that? Especially for like a murder type. You could be mine. Huh? No. Okay. No. I used to love her. Yeah. But I had to kill her. Yeah. I can see that, you know, boom, kill. You know, have it playing in the back. Oh, I got an even better one that they did. And uh, Live and Let Die. I don't think that's been in mo- used in any movies. Well, it's been in one movie. <laughs> with with uh, Paul McCartney. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So I got something to say. It's better to burn out than fade away. <laughs> no. That's Def Def Leppard. Yeah, that's Def Leppard. Uh, no, but I got something to say. Have you seen the new Bond film? No. Was it horrible? Very disappointing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I get the fact that it's a, a story to kind of wrap up Daniel Craig's uh, tenure with the, the character. Right. And uh, I get the fact that uh, he was in love. He, you, know, he, you know, okay, so, all right, originally... Bond back in the day, Her Majesty's Secret Service. Remember that movie with George Lazenby? Yeah. It was the first movie after Sean Connery. Right. With Bond. The one that was. George Lazenby came in. And actually, George Lazenby has gotten more credit today than what he did back in the day. Back then, yeah. It was a a film that, uh, with him being the character coming in, doing that, the love story. Where he falls in love and gets married. Boom. Bond right. gets married. That was a good what you call. It. Then Roger Moore comes in after that that movie and uh, the death of his wife. So Roger Moore's first scene that you see Roger Moore in, he's in his at first movie. In his first movie. Really? Which movie there. was that? Live and Let Die. Nineteen seventy three. Wait, uh, yeah, Live and Let Die, Roger Moore. And then well, the man with a golden gun. Oh, okay. So the, the first scene that you see him in, he's at the, the cemetery. Yeah. And this one, they didn't even show the guy. Oh, there he is on Her Magister, Majesty's Secret Service, 1969. Yeah. The, and Sean Connery came back in 1971 for one. Diamonds yeah. are forever. Never say never. No, diamonds are forever. Well, he did another one. He came back oh, said yeah, never say the never again. That's when he was older in the eighties, yeah. But that one guy did this movie, and then Sean Connery came back nineteen seventy one. Did Diamonds Are Forever, and then they had Roger Moore. Oh, okay, that's weird. That is a little weird. Anyway, what I was going to say is, I, I understand the whole idea that Daniel Craig uh, is in love again. He fell in love in that last movie, and then he died. Uh, he? She got killed. I get mm. that, you know. However, the whole film, very disappointing. 
check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, you, you name it. Check out the website and so forth. Uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. I am Jammer. Right. He is Shag Dog. And we are the Spitter, the Spitter Swallow. Swallow Beer Review. Review. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Special effects. <laughs> I will see you on the next one. Where, where, fail. <laughs>